Hey everyone, in this short video I just want to show you how to do the embedded packet capture on Cisco IOS and Cisco IOS XE routers. Specifically what I want to do is go to R1 and take a look at this GIG 1.12 interface and we'll do a couple different you know scenarios and show how to do the embedded packet capture and then show how to export that to say a TFTP server. So to create the capture you just use the monitor capture command and we can name it whatever we want. Um, I'll just name it uh, demo. And then we have some options. The first thing we need to do is configure the interface. And I'm going to do interface 1.12. And then we have to configure the direction. So we can do inbound or outbound. I'm going to do both. Now we can't just start it here. If I tried to start it, it would tell me. Unable to activate capture, filter not attached to capture. So we can do a filter in two different ways. Uh, to start with, I'm just gonna do a very broad, I wanna capture all traffic, and then I'll show you how to use an access list to you know further define, because in a lab, capturing everything is great, but obviously in your production networks, you're not just gonna wanna capture all traffic on a router's interface, you're gonna wanna narrow that down. So we could use the monitor capture demo match command and I'm gonna just do any so let's just match any traffic on this interface now we can go ahead and start so to show what packets we've captured we can use monitor capture I'm just gonna start using moncap from now on demo I'm um, sorry we need to do a show excuse me show moncap demo buffer but we could do the buffer and it'll show uh there's nine packets in the buffer that we've seen but i like to do buffer brief if i could spell brief correctly and here we could see at least some information we could see the size timestamp the source destination and protocol so so far it looks like i've just been doing uh, EIGRP packets. If we wanted to show a little bit more, we could do the detailed command. And, you know, this might not be great for human readability, but at least shows you more of the information that's inside the packet. It does give you the destination protocol and gives you some other stuff, um, but maybe not, not the most useful. So it's very easy to export this to Wireshark. Now I have an FTP server on my machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do monitor, like I said, I was just gonna do moncap demo and we could have the export command. And now we could, you know, export it anywhere we want. We could use it to the flash, we could do a, an HTTP, HTTPS. I'm just gonna do a TFTP server and I'm gonna do 10 0 uh, what's actually what's mine? What's 10.2.2.100? And I'm just going to call it r1.pcap. And it was exported successfully. So let me go to my TFTP folder here. And now I have this r1.pcap file that I just received. And I can open. Uh, hold on. I can open it. And here are all my packets. And you can see they're mostly just EIGRP packets, but here they all are. So that's pretty easy, right? And obviously, you know, good if you're just trying to capture all the packets. Now, what if I want to just capture specific packets? What if I don't really care about my ERGRP hellos in this situation? I just want, you know, traffic going uh, destined to my interface and or maybe just pings. I want to see pings. What we could do is let's first stop my Moncap demo stop. And I also want to show you I can clear the buffer here. So if I do a moncap demo clear, that clears the buffer. So show moncap demo buffer. Now I have nothing in the buffer. 
So let's go ahead and configure an access list. IP access list. We'll call it pings. And it'll actually be an extended access list. Now we're going to permit um, ICMP. So we'll do, we'll permit ICMP. And we'll do from, uh, from any to host of me, 10, 0, 12, 1. And then we also are going to want to do the opposite. So we're going to want to permit ICMP host 10, 0, 12, 1 to anybody. Now let me do a no moncap demo. I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'll do moncap demo access list is going to be pings. And then I'll do, again, the interface gig 112 in both directions. And now let's do a moncap demo start. All right, so right now we have no packets in the buffer. And since I'm not sending any pings, we can see that. So let's go to R2 and let's just ping 10.0.12.1. Let's go back and check our buffer. Now we have 10 packets. And again, we can just export that, uh, which was, I had it here, whoops. Let's call this one r1pings.pcap. Exported successfully. Here's my r1pings. I don't know why it keeps opening on the other screen. And here we go. We can take a look at the pings. So embedded packet capture on Cisco routers, very useful. Um, obviously in labs, you can be super broad or if you're looking for something super specific, in production networks, also really great when you're trying to diagnose a problem. Use this feature. It's actually going to give you, I would say, better results than doing it on a host, you know, because the hosts obviously offload certain things to the driver, and sometimes you can't actually capture the packets on the wire. So it's awesome to just be able to go to a router, quickly do this monitor capture. Um, and actually, before I end the video, I just want to show you one more thing. You can do show monitor capture, and it'll tell you status information, direction both for the interface, it's currently active, it's running, it'll tell you your filter details, your buffer details, you know. So there is a show command just to show you kind of the configuration of, of what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope... Um, you know, it was clear, kind of easy, pretty simple concept, but a really cool feature to know, especially if you've never seen it before. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below, and I'll see you on the next video.